Hi guys, today I will try to talk. Uh, I'm Slovenian, so I don't speak English very well. I hope you will understand me. I will try my best. So, first of all, I want to show you some dry results of my flower dips. Uh, they are just dips. But uh, I just want to to give it a shape or achieve the shape of a flower. So I call it flower dip. And because uh, you ask me many questions, I decide to try to explain some things. Uh, first, uh, once cracked a little, but not too much. This one is still varnished already and it's almost ready to go to her new home so I will try you see little cracks but I think not too bad this is this one this is from my first attempts. This one is the one if it's uh, varnished already too. Have some lovely texture. I just love it. Like branches and leaf. Just love it. This is this one. This one is sealed already, also has a beautiful shimmer, yeah. you see, gold. This one's on the second attempt, didn't crack, I'm glad. This one and this one. So, sorry, this is the one I called reverse dip with PVA bag, so first I will show you the result, I just love it, so delicate, I don't know if it's the right word, but I just love it. So this is I I I don't know how to say this. This is just a bag we used for use for um, store food uh, store food in free freezer. I just wrap. Uh, Tear it apart. I must use scissors, but just to show you, it's just a plas plastic plastic bag. I don't know how you call this. And this is what I use for my reverse dip. And this is one of latest coral flower lips oops I just love it they're drying well they it's not dried completely but if you can see little texture stayed but I don't mind, I like it, just if they didn't crack. Well, I just love it. So, this, this is first thing. Second, you ask 
me a lot about my colors. I use German brand of colors, Artina. I love them. And Artis colors. And this is my Slovenian product I use as a pouring medium because uh, float roll in Slovenia costs about $20 for a liter so it's very very expensive we don't have glue oil so I tried and tried and tried and throw away lots of paints and canvases and I came up with this uh, we call it acrylic emulsion uh, it's a binder between um, two layers of paint on walls in our houses so I think if it binds two layers of colors then maybe I can give it a try and I, I did and I'm very pleased with it. This is my silicone, this is Slovenian product also, it's for dry hair, it's 100% silicone. So today I will add it just in this Naples yellow light hue mixed with white, just a drop, because I don't want, I don't want big cells and many cells so I will show you my consistency too wow this is not good color let's try this turquoise I use these containers when they are empty for my paints I mix them and I I have it in these drawers they have Huh, Slovenian wore this pokro. I don't know what is English word, so excuse me. <laughs> I hope you will see consistency. There we go. Today I will try to use two shades of turquoise. And this lovely metallic amethyst, I think, gold, metallic gold. For metallics, I use uh, some craft paints, and I love them. And this Naples yellow, I think I will use all, I don't know, I will see. This self mixed orange, I mixed vermilion and cadmium yellow, and there I have all sorts of brown colors from one of my pores that I pour into this jar so to give it a little contrast, maybe. And of course white. I don't use uh, house paint uh, white because uh, I tried and it cracked and I don't know maybe our brand is just not good. Uh, we are very very small country and we don't have a lot of uh, shops with this stuff and it's all expensive so I get this uh, my friend live in Austria so she ordered this 
and bring it to me because uh, most of shops through Europe don't ship to Slovenia because we are too small. And yeah, that's it. So let's begin my pellet knife. And we'll try, we will try to achieve something. I just pour my white paint. So guys, I ordered equipment for better videos. But till then, you must bear with me like this. So I, I, I don't pour a lot of white because if there is too much paint on the surface, surface, uh, I, I think that the flowers doesn't look so beautiful. Or how can I say? Whatever. Okay, uh, this is it. Uh, so this uh, is my kitchen table and trash bag. I don't know what uh, you call it. Uh, we have this to put our trash in it. It's a plastic uh, bag, maybe a little more oh, strong than this one for for a freezer so let's begin i just said paints as i feel i always go with the flow that's why i like pouring so much i think that gives me so much opportunities to to play so uh, from my um, i am a kindergarten teacher teacher so i like to play <laughs> and i like to be messy i'm a messy painter i admit but that's how it is Little bit of this lovely amethyst. No, it's not amethyst. It's uh, aquamarine. I said amethyst. Amethyst is violet, purple. I hope it will show. A little bit of gold. Maybe I must add it first. We will see, but metallics sell, so I think I get some sales golden. So let's decide. I will add some this brown because I love this combination of browns and turquoises, but not too much. And a little bit of orange for the bright side of the moon. I, I'm just joking. I'm a little bit silly person. If you will watch me, you will. You will know me better. So. These canvases I will use uh, are scrapped canvases, practice canvases, so let's do it. So, what I discovered or learned through this process of my flower dips is that it's very important how you put your canvas on 
and how you lift it off. So sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not okay. So sometimes I dip it again or just see, go with the flow. So you what you what I want to do is to lift it evenly so that uh, when you lifting in lifting it up this uh, foil uh, on my table will go with 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 canvas and release pressure right here last i don't know you understand if you understand but i i try my best so let's try and we will see so very carefully i try to lift it you see foil goes a little bit up I feel that it's not in center, so I, I will try, try, but I, I, I feel already that this one will not be good. So, it's pretty, but not what I want. So, I, I will just try to fix it a little bit with my finger. It's pretty, but still not what I want. Colors are pretty, so just a minute, please. I use these little sticks. Wow, golden, it's coming. And just try to. Fix some lines. Here it is, you see gold, maybe I want it like this, pretty colors I think, so there's my torch, I have this big torch, so Just little cells. Hmm. That's one. So now I will add some colors. God, I love this one. Sometimes I just dip another canvas in this, but I want to get more this flower shape so I try to do it again orange I think it gives it something brown Just play and go with the flow and see what happens. That's why pulling is fun, isn't it? I just love it. 
I just play and play <coughs> and play, sorry. Let's see what I get. So get got <laughs> excuse me for my gram grammary what it calls. I'm present perfect. Uh, so let's uh, little white because I see that I have the paint uh, which uh, stays uh, on the surface surface at the end I scrape it and um, pour it in some jar and use it as a background or just pour it sometimes on some canvas and see what happened happen so let's try it again just pressing down not too much because I don't want colors to spread all over so let's see what can we get from this one Still not what I'm looking for, but kind of neat. This one maybe I like even better than the first one. So now I will do this. And I will go again with first canvas, add a little color again, because, just because, just because we are experimenting. Maybe I go this metallics around and see what will happen. Yeah. Just a little bit of paint. Because we Redeep it, or what can I? What? How can I say that? Wish you could could tell me. I want to redeep this one because it's almost a leaf, and I try to get some more flowery effect. So let's try. So now I will first. Press it in the center, and I hope that this will work. We will see. We have nothing to lose and a lot to gain.
No. Just dip it again. Hmm. I can decide if I like it, but I think I do. I will torch it a little and we will see what happens. This part here, so I will try to fix it a little. So how do, what do I think of this one? I think it's pretty, but lighting is so, so bad. I will show you results at the end. It's really sparkly. I like it. So this is this one. Green color it shines very nice. So I just want to do this. I don't have place because. There is my camera camera sitting on cappuccino jar. So I must add white. And this time we will try something I tried yesterday with some of it. And those color flowers. And we will see. So now I will dip it again, press it. And now I will swirl and lift at the same time, lifting up at the same time. And we will see if we can get this blown in the wind effect. Yes, we can. So, I just try to fix some. Um, 
things here just a minute I will show you the result so there is a little flower and the wind around <laughs> I just see it that way I don't know how you will call it or you just so I will torch this one too a little and then I will decide if I, if I want to do something with those previous two. I don't know if you hear me while I'm torching. I'm just looking at these first two and try to decide what to do. But I think I will leave them or I will dip this one again because I don't like it. I don't know, I just don't. So I will dip this one again and we will see what happens. No, it's not okay. I think I must add some white paint here. And maybe a little more color. 